Hello there and welcome back to Gumboots Australia. This is mission number 25 called The Flying Father. And the text reads, Andra Timita has lost track of her... Timita or Timita? Let's go Timita. Timita? I don't know. Andra Timita has lost track of her father. He used to be a pilot with the Royal Flying Doctor Service and she's come to Kalgoorlie to start the search for him. She has asked you to help. She would like to find him before his birthday, which is March 20. You'll be paid $1,000 when you find him. You will also receive bonuses for finding him quickly. Andrew's father's name is Alan. So Alan Timeter, we're in Kalgoorlie. And that's pretty much all we've got to go on at the moment. Hmm. All right, let's just try a name search. Nothing there. Let's try flying. So Broken Hill has a flying doctor base. Uh, Derby. Kalgoorlie has a broke one. No, makes, makes some notes. So we've got Broken Hill. Definitely a point worth to look at. Now the Royal Flying Doctor Service. Da, 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 da. Oh wow, there's actually a lot of points. Although, just because it listed here doesn't mean it actually exists in the game. That's one thing, though. But I will make note of them. Mount Isa, Derby, Alice Springs, Broken Hill, what he got? Hobart. Carnivan. I can't remember Carnivan was Perth, was it? Port Headland, Port Augusta, which I believe is Tassie. Could be wrong. Wyndham. Charleville. And Cairns. Surprised Cairns is in this game. This wasn't as big back then. Okay. That's everything. Well, let's investigate here. Um, there's no actual... Oh, let's just visit Australia House. Meet with a pilot here who used to work with Alan Timeter. You all liked Al, he says. I think he was transferred to a base in the Kimberleys. Okay. Kimberley region is Western Australia. Uh, Broome is in the southern tip of the Kimberley region. Broome and Derby. Okay. So we're in Kalgoorlie. Broome and Derby are both the Kimberley region. So I'm going to head uh, up that way. Another point though is mentioned in that list for the Flying Doctor service though. All right, let's go to a new place. Let's go to Broome. Broome is situated at the southern tip of the Kimberley region, whose coastal town has a colorful history when over 400 luggers sailed in its pearling fleet. Now, do you have almost a month to find this one? So it's a bit of a longer mission. Let's uh, take a car to get there. And we'll arrive early in the morning the following day. Yep. All right, room, room. Let's investigate. Let's uh, visit the little white church. This doesn't seem to be the right place. Keep searching. What if we walk out along Streeter's jetty? No pilots here. We can go sailing on a lugger. We don't find any pilots at all here. Walking in shopping brooms, Chinatown. Nope. This doesn't seem to be the right place. All right. Looks like broom was a bust. Uh, let's try Derby instead. Derby is a small town which serves as the administrative centre for the West Kimberley region. The prison tree, a large hollow boab, is situated 7 kilometres from town. I will take a plane, it's cheap. It means I can do some work today. Uh, let's mm, see the cultural centre. A woman here tells you that she sold her car to Altimeter. Al said he needed a car to drive to his new posting in Queensland. Okay. 
It's off to Queensland. Check Derby. I can cross it off my list. I'm thinking Mount Isa would be a good place to check next. So let's go to a new place. Let's go to Mount Isa. The most important commercial and industrial centre in northwest Queensland, including one of the biggest silver lead mines in the world. It's a long trip, whichever way you do it. So you know if I fly there, I'm going to lose time sleeping, so I'm just going to get a car. 23 hours. Go to Mount Isa. Let's investigate. Let's see the Rotary Mining Museum. No pilots here. What if we fly out to Berry Beach? As you chat with the pilot, do you learn what she knew Alan Timeter quite? Let me try that again. As you chat with the pilot, you learn that she knew Alan Timeter quite well before he left for Central Australia. Okay. Alice Springs is mentioned as a place for the Royal Flying Doctor Service. That's pretty much as central as you get. So let's go to Alice Springs. Alice Springs is one of the only large towns in Central Australia. Many tourists visit this town on the way to outback sites. I feel like I have plenty of time for this mission. So let's uh, try and save some money. I was going to bust there. Although he's a concern they give you this much time. Be a lot of trips to do. Alright, we're in Alice Springs. Let's walk down Main Street. You don't find any pilots here at all. Okay. What if we check down check out the local hotels? The public can remember Al. He says Al left for Broken Hill some time ago. Okay. That was one of my shortlisted places very early on. Alright, let's go to Broken Hill. Uh, Broken Hill, one of Australia's main mining towns, surrounded by grazing properties and desert, also called the Silver City. Uh, let's go by car again, I think. Oh, no, I'll go by bus. I'll get there mid-afternoon. 28 hours. Alright, we're in Broken Hill. Let's investigate. Let's fly around the local properties. One of the property owners has a hat that Al left at the homestead when he flew out here last year. He asks you to give it to Al when you see him in Tasmania. Okay. Hobart was mentioned in the database. Hobart is in Tasmania, so let's go to Hobart. Hobart is the capital city of the island state of Tasmania, site of the Rest Point Casino and the end of the popular Sydney to Hobart Yacht Race. It's a long way away. But I'll get the bus. Should work out well for time. Right at one in the morning, that's pretty good. Still got 16 days. Let's investigate. Uh, we will climb the shot tower at Taruna. This doesn't seem to be the right place, Andy. Oh, we've got an event. Watch out. Something is going to happen. You see a sign that says it is forbidden to throw stones at this sign. What will you do? Let's just leave it alone. Uh, I can see the post office museum in Hobart. No pilots here. What if we visit the casino? You don't find any pilots here at all. What if we inspect the yacht, the yacht marinas? Aha! Nobody in Hobart has heard of Alan Timita. You decide to visit one of your old friends who is living on her yacht here. She tells you that she saw an interesting article in a magazine recently. The article is about a chap who gave up flying to become a tram driver. Well, I know one place that has trams, and that is Melbourne. Here we are, Melbourne City Trams. There's no other ones, just was double checking that. This guy gets around, that's for sure. All right, let's go to a new place. Let's go to Mighty Melbourne. Oh, just missed out travel. That's upsetting. Upsetting indeed. 
try again. Melbourne is the capital city of Victoria on the Yarra River, known as the home of Australian rules football, which attracts the largest crowds in Australian sport. I always get the bus there. I'll arrive at the same time tomorrow. That was less than 23 hours. Hmm. Alright, let's investigate Melbourne. Let's go for a tram ride. The driver of this tram says he knows Al, but he thinks he's taking his annual leave just now. He believes Alan said he was off to Tasmania. Just after you get off the tram, you remember that when you paid the $4 fare, you left your wallet with 96 bucks in it on the seat of a tram. Gee, so he's going to Tasmania. I just left Tasmania. But that's not much to go on there, it's only Tasmania. Alright, well let's start with Launceston. Tasmania is the second largest city, where the Tamar, North Esk and South Esk rivers meet. One of its many tourist attractions is the Penny Royal Gunpowder Mill. We'll get the bus there as well. Still got 13 days. Got an event, watch out, something's gonna happen. You're watching this week's People in Action on TV. You see yourself walk past the sign without throwing a stone at it. You see a little girl who was just behind you throw a rock at the sign and gets a $500 prize. Oh well. Uh, let's investigate Launceston. We can visit the city park and zoo. This doesn't seem to be the right place, Andy. What if we cruise the Tamar River? No pilots here. What if you see the Penny Royal Powder Mill? You don't find any pilots at all here. You can drive out to Cataract Gorge. This doesn't seem to be the right place. Mm, okay, so Launceston was a bust. Let's try Port Arthur. Port Arthur is formerly an infamous penal settlement. This is now an important tourist attraction where the ruins of the prison still stand. We'll get a plane there, so we'll do some searching today. Let's investigate. Let's visit the Isle of the Dead. No pilots here. What if we walk through the model prison? You don't find any pilots here at all. What if we walk across Eagle Hawk Neck? Doesn't seem to be the right place. What if we take a tour of the bush mill? No pilots here. Okay. Now we try Strawn. Uh, Strawn is a small port on Tasmania's west coast and a good starting point for launch cruises up the Gordon River into the famous wilderness and Hawaiian Pine areas. I was going to bask because it's about that time. Alright, let's investigate Strawn. We can see Hogarth Falls. You don't find any pilots at all here. Yeah, you can walk up Water Tower Hill. This just doesn't seem to be the right place. You can cruise the Gordon River. Aha! You find Alan Timeter relaxing on deck. He says he's letting someone else do the driving for a change. He's pleased to hear from his daughter, and since he still has a few weeks of leave, he agrees to go with you to meet her in Kalgoorlie. Job done! You've finally found Andrew's father, Alan. She gratefully pays you the $1,000 and calculates any bonus payments you may have earned. You receive your final payment of $1,000 for completing the task, plus your $100 for each bonus point you have left. This adds $2,000 to your bankroll. Cool. You finished this game, and you're now going to the next game. Alright. It ended up taking me a good two weeks or so to find Alan Timeter. There's a lot of running around. But I felt like it was very precise. I wasn't doing much random searching apart from the end, but oh well. Every game's a bit different, isn't it? Which is kind of good. Well, that is that mission done, The Flying Father. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your support. And I hope to see you next time for some more Gumboots Australia.